Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and live Doppler 2X, the most powerful radar in the Miami Valley. That muggy air mass is moving in, and with that, we've seen some spotty showers and thunderstorms flare up this evening, and a little bit of that activity down into the southwest corner of Montgomery County, down towards Germantown, moving southeastward. As you can see, down towards Middletown, a little more likely you'll see some rain. Severe thunderstorm warning continues on a cell coming across southeast Indiana, but that is really weakened now. This warning expiring at 5:30, and I'm sure it won't be reissued. You can see the weakening mode there as that activity continues to uh, spread eastward this evening. So uh, not seeing much in the way of any severe weather with that now. Another shower that was producing some lightning earlier up around Piqua, uh, just north and west of Troy. And that's moving southeast, too. And then some new activity flaring up across Wayne County, Indiana, out towards the Richmond area. So we'll keep an eye on that as that progresses eastward through the evening hours. So uh, the humid air is definitely going to be with us. It looks like a couple of spotty showers around this evening, a few rumbles of thunder. Activity should die out and then flare up again late tonight and tomorrow with the approach of our cold front. 81 degrees now. Actually a little cooler than it was earlier with some of those showers in the vicinity and a west-southwest wind at 9 miles an hour. Up in Sydney, 86 reported up uh, there by Don Chateau with mostly sunny skies. Vicki Sifke, uh, 85 degrees the air temp, and she said the pool temp as well. And then we've got some localized cooling around Bradford and Covington with some of those showers. Looking down south, same effect here, Brookville 76. Trotwood, though, at 87 degrees, and then 78 reported by Gerson Silver in Dayton with some of those clouds around. So there are the temperatures tonight, upper 80s at Lima, low 80s Cincinnati, where we've seen some of the clouds, some of the showers, and the real hot air out over the central and southern plain states, 101 in Oklahoma City. But you can see that humid air, the higher dew points working up into the Ohio Valley. So it looks like the AC will be working overtime as we head through tonight and into the start of the weekend. But we do have some relief on the way in the form of a cool front northwest of us. That front will be dropping southeast into our area as we head towards Saturday. And also, it'll bring us a little better chance of those scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially later tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. Then that front pushes on through just in time for Sunday. We'll see a drop in humidity levels and temperatures cooling off a little bit. So Sunday looks like the better of the two weekend days. Tonight, we drop down to 70 degrees with muggy conditions. Again, a spotty shower or thunderstorm this evening and then again late tonight. And then tomorrow, scattered showers and thunderstorms on and off during the day. A mix of clouds and sunshine will be up to 85 degrees. I think we'll see a few showers around early, and those will tend to thin on out and break up a bit. We'll get up into the 80s during the afternoon with more strong thunderstorms later in the day. And remember, you can keep track of that rain if you're heading out this evening with Live Doppler 2X, WDTN.com, your seven-day planner. Sunday turning less humid, a slight chance of some rain early in the day on Monday, a nice day Tuesday, and then just seasonably warm going into next week.